A good night's sleep seems to elude a lot of us, but is the answer in your actual bedtime? A recent study out of the UK shows falling asleep between 10 and 11 p.m. is the sweet spot for heart health. In today's Healthy Dose, Dr. Frank Averill, medical director of St. Francis Sleep Allergy and Lung Institute, says there's something to it. Because then you're going, going to be getting up around the normal time that most of us live, right? He says count back from when you need to wake up, and the goal for most adults is at least seven hours of sleep a night. There's two factors. One, you want the correct amount of time of sleep, so somewhere around seven to nine hours, but you also want to work with your biological time clock to work with your circadian rhythm, and that's associated with improved sleep quality and improved uh, health outcomes. A circadian rhythm regulates the sleep-wake cycle and repeats every 24 hours. It's mostly affected by light and darkness, and morning light helps reset the internal clock. So that 10 p.m. bedtime gives you time after the sun sets to decompress and go to bed and then rise with it in the morning. So the people who work night shifts or varying shifts definitely does have a health impact. And when you don't get enough sleep, we see problems with depression, but we also see problems with health consequences like strokes, heart attacks, hypertension. If you're struggling to get to bed at night, on 10TampaBay.com, Dr. Averill lays out three things to avoid and to do to help you get that much needed rest.